What's the problem with a television or couch or something in between the loudspeakers? Claude in Pointe Claire, France. I'm sure Claude, I, <laughs> my father's middle name was Claude, Don Claude McGowan, and I'm sure Claude is probably closer to how, how the French say it, but I, I can't talk French. Um, anyway, uh, Claude, and forgive me for butchering your name, uh, my question relates to the source or the space between the speakers and to how obstructions between them can possibly affect the sound, the imaging, and the sound stage. I noticed that in one of your listening rooms, the equipment is located on the side wall and close to the listener, while in many setups that we see at audio shows or in home installations, there's often a pile of gear on an audio rack that is located between the speakers, sometimes in line with them or slightly behind. How does that affect sound quality? Is there a cable length issue that suggests that components should stay close to the speakers? You know, Claude, that's a great, great question, and I will admit uh, to being as guilty as the next trade show attendee. So when we're at a trade show like Expona or Rocky Mountain, back when we had trade shows before the pandemic and we were all operating out of our, out of our homes, which, you know, this isn't half bad. This is better being at the office, I got to tell you. Um, but before all of that happened, when we used to go to those trade shows, I and we were as guilty as the next company by putting our equipment in the middle of the speakers. And we did that because we know we'll never get perfect sound at a trade show. I mean, hell, we got maybe 12 hours to set a stereo system up. And, and, and a, you know, I've worked for years on setting up the stereo system that we use as a reference. And it's, it's, not something you can just set up in 10 or 12 hours and get perfect. So we know we can't do that. And we also know that one of the reasons we're at a trade show is to show off our equipment, to let people know, oh, this is PS Audio. There's their stuff. Here's how it sounds. Meet the people. Say hi. Here's PS Audio, right? That's what we're doing. So when you're sitting there listening at a trade show to the PS Audio system, I want you looking right at our equipment because that's that's why we're there. I want you to see our equipment. I want you to get to know us, right? But when we are in our reference room at PS Audio, or you are in your home and you want to get the best sound, do not put your equipment between the speakers. Don't do it. I, I, I've mentioned several times that I'm writing what's going to be called the Audiophiles Guide. It's a, a book, the first one's called The Stereo, and it'll all be wrapped around the idea of, of setting up for the best. And I just finished writing a chapter about why you shouldn't place anything in the center between the two speakers, because that's the worst place that you can put something. Televisions, couches, spouses, uh, equipment, don't put it between the speakers. And I'll tell you why in just a sec. So you want to put them off to the side, somewhere it's more convenient for you. Now the downside to that, of course, is you're going to have to have long interconnects or long speaker cables. So in our reference system um, at PS Audio, we have a hybrid. So we have our equipment to the side, we have our power amplifiers and their power regenerators on the floor. Now that's okay between the speakers. That's okay because it's on the floor, it's, it's about this tall, and everything that we're interested in listening to where the image should appear, that's free and clear. And that's what you want. But if you have a television in front of it, the, the sound, the two things are going to happen. One, that's where this illusion of the musicians playing for us is supposed to appear. If there's a rack of equipment there or something that is distracting the eye, that illusion is hampered, number one. Number two, anything, especially like a couch or whatever, is going to have funny absorption and reflection patterns right where you don't want it. Because remember, everything we hear in the room is a combination of the direct sound coming to our ears from the speakers and all the reflective sounds coming to us a little bit later. And if 
in the middle, where you know where the speakers combine and then shoot back and going to give us that beautiful center image, you're going to that that'll be challenged or hampered if you've got something obstructing that where those speakers cross over together um, in the middle. So don't do it. It's the worst place for it. That's why we do it at trade shows because well we can get away with it, and we're not trying to come up with the world's best sound. We're just trying to say, hey, this is who we are, and, and doesn't this sound great? And it does, but it can sure sound a lot better if we were to be more purist in that respect. All right, thanks for the, thanks for the question. Stay safe, my friends. This ain't over yet. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.